How are you getting on with, uh, you know, things? Actually, I just finished. Where do you want to meet? The Cavana, on Sun and Shine Plaza. <laughs> I needed some artificial stimulants to keep me going. Meet me there, whenever you're ready. Will do. Hey, Sully. Zoe, please tell me you're here to reclaim your man. He's driving me up walls. Sully. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. He pines and fills my apartment with misery, but I understand. It's no walk in the park being married to a newsman. <laughs> we weren't exactly married. Yeah, I'm stepping in bock today, aren't I? Ach, no more tasteless jokes. I shall be as solemn as the moment requires. So, dear girl, is this a social call or a professional one? I have something for you. Ah, a professional visit. Now, I am intrigued. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I don't know what to do with the data. If I give it to Sully, I'll break Baruti's heart and our friendship. But if I give it to Baruti, the truth could end up getting buried. I honestly have no idea what to do. And there's no simple answer. I just have to make a choice. This data is too valuable to give to Baruti. He'll take it to the party leadership and then... Who knows? What am I doing? I promised Baruti I'd help him get the data and now this data... Records. Financial transactions. Documents linking Unity and Uminska to Watercorp and Wolf. I beg your pardon? Where in Manuel's name did you find these documents? Baruti tipped me off. He's had his suspicions, and he asked me to find evidence. And you brought it to me, to the hand, instead of your... It seemed like the right thing to do. That data, it's... It's all in there, all you need for a full expose. Christ our savior on a fucking bicycle. It's dangerous information, Sully. Oh, we'll keep your name out of it. You, yours and his. Be sure of that. Kasha! And I was going to vote for Uminska. The hand and door stuff are crying out loud. Are you sure about this? About giving the data to us? No. But I don't want anything more to do with it. I'll put people on this right away. We'll need to verify every fact and triple check with our own sources. Will you ask Uminska or Watikorp for a response? Huh? Oh, well, that depends. If there's a chance they could destroy the evidence or hide the trail, then no. Well, no. We won't. And this is why we must move fast. I need everyone to come in. I don't care if they're half a world away. Everyone! Please keep me in the loop. I, I promise. Now, please, excuse me, Zoe. Of course, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. is off Sun and Shine Plaza in the aptly named Where Sun and Shine Plaza are sponsored by I hope you get to where you go
inside when you dream. Is everything all right, Sissy? Sorry for taking so long, Baruti. I... The truth will come out, and there's no reason to lie about it. I shouldn't tell him what I did. It won't make any difference, but it will... I need to tell him what I did, but I can't tell him I didn't trust him with the data. I couldn't let you take the data to the party. I didn't know what would happen to you, and I... I couldn't be responsible. What are you saying? I gave the data to the Hand. You'll be protected. We both will. And the world will learn what... I should have known better than to ask for your help. It's clear where your loyalties lie. That's not fair. I... Fair? What's fair? The campaign was my life. Now it's not. This was not your choice to make, Zoe. I didn't need your protection. Stay inside. Stay connected to your dream I'm so sorry I'm late. You really threw us a curveball today. It sounds like you disapprove. Not at all. I mean, it's it's great. Well, it's, it's huge. But, well, I, I guess it just confirms my fears. Oh. About the election work. Yeah, well, I guess you were right. You know it's not about that. No, of course not. Anyway, let's talk. Yes, let's. General, you call for me. Step inside, Vamon. How do you find your quarters, General? I find my quarters just fine, Commander. That's not why you were summoned. You see, something's been bothering me. Mia? I've spoken to your men at the Keep, and their story is the same as yours. There was a riot instigated by the Resistance. In the ensuing chaos, Apostle Albani was killed. His body was, inconveniently, burned in the fire. It was a bloodbath, one that someone will have to answer for someday. Certainly, General. I will see to it. I'm sure you will. I also spoke with some of the surviving prisoners. Their story diverged significantly from yours. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. They're a treacherous lot, looking for any excuse to spread discord. Maybe so. But before the riot broke out, the Warden claims he was ordered to execute the Apostle. By you, personally, Commander. Lies! The infidel is trying to save his own skin. Perhaps, but what reason would he have to lie? It doesn't absolve him of any responsibility in regards to the riot. He still awaits his trial at Coldstone. He tells me the noose had been made ready for Alvani to hang at first light. I'm not saying I trust the man. He's a cruel little person. But he appears to respect the chain of command. And what did the prisoners tell you? That the riot was set in motion to free the Apostle, not murder him. And that it succeeded. That's preposterous. Kian Alvane is ashes. He walks in shadow, lost and afraid. Far from the glory of the first mountain and the light of the goddess. So you tell me, Commander, and I'd hate to think you're lying to me or omitting the truth. Your relationship with Alvane. There was animosity. You knew each other when you were boys. Ah, we had run-ins. When we were both on the streets of Sidia, it wasn't uncommon. 
But your rivalry was bloodier, went deeper than boyish pranks. It was a long time ago. We were past that. I want to believe you, Commander. Your position here is important to me. To the Six. To all of Azadir. Have I not always served the Goddess and my people here? Have I not proven myself to the Six and the Council? To the Seat, to you? Any suggestion that I'm less than faithful? It greatly offends me. As it should, Vamon. I have no wish to discover you've been lying to me. I have no wish to see you placed in chains. I want to believe you. And for now, I do. But I will continue investigating this matter, because something about it is not right. Something about it bothers me. If you know something, I urge you to come to me as quickly as possible before I learn you've kept the truth from me. I have not. I walk in the light, Mir. Everything I do, I do for my nation and my people. Very well. You may go. May the Goddess protect you, General. The light shine upon us all and illuminate our path. Ulvik! What news do you have for us, Ulvik? Right. So a man comes into my bar this afternoon. Azadi soldier, off duty. Has a few beers, starts getting flushed and loose-lipped. Man says there's talk of a raid. This very night, in the magic ghetto. And there's a list. A list? The ones they're targeting. The ones they're bringing back out again. But why now? I mean, it's... it's not payback, is it? He did mention the weapons shipment that got blown sky-eye last week. Caused a fair bit of ruckus, that. Was the talk of this place for days. Seems some people enjoy a good explosion. Apparently, the commander of the Azadi Special Forces took it as a personal insult. A commander... Ramon. He would take that personally. Also, man said, there's been more weapons and supplies being smuggled into the city, right under Azadi noses. Well, they've caught a few shipments, so they know people are arming themselves in the ghetto, that there's trouble brewing. Mole's been more cooperative than usual. Whatever you did for Kian, it appears to have been appreciated. So, the way I see it, the Azadi might want to make a decisive strike tonight, before they lose control of Old Town. Well, they're not wrong. So, we need to find out who's on this list, and we need to know when they're going to strike, and from where, and we Patient need to... Patient One thing at a time. First, we must learn if, when, and where this raid is taking place. Then we must warn our friends, including the Mole. And then we must get our own people to safety before the Azadi come. I have a few contacts I can poke. Liko? I'll start with our people in the ghetto. Kian, if you could pay the mole a courtesy call. That won't take long. Is there anything else I can do? I doubt it. Let's meet back here before midnight. Will do. Good luck, the both of you. Watch your back. Yeah, if I may have a word. In private, I have a message from a common friend. She wishes to see you alone as soon as possible. She told me she'd wait for you where all of Old Town lies below us. Wherever that might be. She does like to speak in riddles, that one. Thanks, Elvig. And when you do see her, tell her it's time she paid her tab. She won't receive another drop of Merry Minstrum until she does.
After my shift's over, I think I'll head down to that cheap tavern by the arbor. Oh, what's it called again? The cock and... It's a nice view, isn't it? I've always found Mercuria beautiful, especially in summer. Of course, those metal tubes are a bit of an eyesore. And that tower? Actually, the tower I quite like. Why did you want to meet me? Oh, so impatient. <laughs> you always were. I've been saving something for a rainy day. Someone, actually. And, well, no rain at the moment, but... The forecast for tonight sounds grim. It can't hurt to pool our resources and share information she knows something about tonight. It can't... We've heard the same thing. Something's happening tonight. Possibly an Azadi raid on Old Town. That's what I've heard too. But I don't know anything else. Yet. That's where you come in. There's an Azadi officer. High ranking, a captain. He has, a. Uh an arrangement with a young woman in Old Town. A non-human. He's fucking a magical. Eloquent, but yeah, he's fucking a magical. We both know what it would do to his career if anyone found out. Let's strip him of his rank. He'd be arrested, tortured, most likely sentenced to death. All for a little blue girl and some exotic sex. Your people are so predictable, Azadi. So easy to compromise. You know, the more things you forbid, the more sins there are to be tempted by. You're a nation of the repressed, a powder keg ready to blow. But how will this information help us? Today is this officer's day with his young lady. She has a room near Shady Quay. Our horny captain never goes alone. The fool brings his uniformed knave to keep watch, which is convenient, like a big arrow pointing.